how's it going guys thanks for tuning in and watching this week's video as you can see we got something different this week um, I actually found this buck deadhead it was a deadhead I found um, this this buck we called the devil buck um, because the big brows if you cut those off he'd look just like a devil um, I'll throw some pictures in here to show you how I found him and what he looked like he was just a skull um, he was buried in the snow but I had a buddy that I rodeoed with. I uh, rode bulls with him for quite a few years, almost 10 years. Um, and he had a bad rodeo accident, lost his eye. Um, he was wanting to get into hunting more. And so we decided that we were gonna go try to shoot some coyotes one day. The week before, me and my mom and my dad were out shed hunting our family's shed hole. We've been shed hunting that spot for probably 12 years now. Um, never thought that we would have found a buck like this in that unit. We picked up a lot of sheds, never found anything this big of this caliber. So I went up to the top of the ridge because there were some bucks. There was like a little road down below and a cattle guard. And then I had a fence line that shot straight up this ridge. And I hike up the ridge, I get to the top and I glass crossed. I see a group of bucks sitting there feeding. So I pull out my phone cam adapter reading them through my spot and scope these bucks. Well, my mom, I think she said she found a shed. So I got off the mountain. Just so happens I left my phone cam adapter sitting up on top of the mountain along with my sunglasses. So I dropped down there and I was like, ah, I'll just get it later. Because it was an area that we never seen anybody shed hunt ever before until just the last five years. So, um, I, meanwhile, I just went down, picked up the shed. Um, my mom stopped right at the fence line, but little did she know if she would have walked a little bit further that day, she would have found that. Fast forward back to, it was a week after, me and Cody, uh, we decided we were going to go try to kill some coyotes. I was talking to this girl at the time, she wanted to go out with us. Uh, she stayed up all night partying at the bar and I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be fun. We we're heading out, we hit a few spots along the way calling coyotes and not much success as far as calling coyotes that day so I parked at the cattle guard and I was like well if you guys want we might find some sheds here and I told Cody if you walk up this bottom you might run into some sheds there's a few bucks in there and there was one buck pack on one side you might find some sheds in there I'm gonna hike up to the top of here and go pick up my phone cam adapter and my sunglasses I left up there last week and I heard her and Cody decided they're gonna head up that bottom. Well, I hike all the way to the top, grab my phone cam adapter, and put it in my pack, start dropping down the canyon, and they're walking up the bottom, and I, I'm just gonna sit here, I'm gonna scare the crap out of these guys, because they didn't know I was there. And I'm sitting there waiting, and Cody, for whatever reason, decides he's gonna head uphill. And she just continues on a string right up the bottom. and. I just kind of glanced out of the corner of my eye and I caught some tines. There's actually these two tines sticking up out of the snow. And I was like, yeah, I'm not scaring her no more. So I walk over there and I talk to her. I'm like, hey, you see this? And she, she's like, see what? And I pointed it out. I'm like, there's a deadhead right here. And all I could see, mind you, when I walked up to it was just them two points, the G4 here and G4 in the front here. Everything else was buried under the snow. And I stuck my finger through the snow and I could feel everything behind it. And I yelled up at Cody because he was right where I picked up my phone cam adapter. I yelled at him and I said, I ain't picking up this buck until you get down here. And he comes sliding down the mountain. It was pretty snowy that day. And he comes sliding down the mountain. He gets down there and I pull it out of the snow. And little did I know, I probably one of the biggest deadheads I'll ever find in my life as far as mule deer. Um, he ended up going 215 and some change. I don't know the exact score. It's been a while since I scored him. I just know he's 215 and some change. Um, but fast forward, there's a few sheds on here I'll show you. That doesn't really capture them the way they're laying because they're tines down. But we believe some of these sheds are off of this buck. And we picked them all up in the same area that we found this deadhead. Um, but yeah, that's the devil buck, and he got his name because if you were to cut these antlers off right here, yeah, he'd look just like a devil. 
but he is a, an amazing buck and I'll put this camera around and show you guys a little more of his characteristics and I hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys please would like subscribe and uh, let's show this bad boy off all right to tell you a little bit about this buck um, he's got the big bladed brows you know that's the first thing that catches my eye when I look at this buck is them big brows and heavy bases and all the marbling he's got all the way down through he's just a sweet buck I actually had a different guy back when I first found this buck I had it for like a week was all and this guy out of Cedar Fort Utah was gonna restain the antlers for me and he went ahead and did that I think they turned out pretty good for you know restored antlers when I found it, it was all hard white there's a couple mouse chews I think it was right here but that was about it everything was hard white there was little to no cracks I think there's a crack right there but very little cracking that buck hadn't been laying there for maybe more than a year but just an amazing buck he's got some extras off of his g4 here there's a big old hole just kind of cool got another big old hole right here and then got a hole right there it's pretty sweet but yeah just a big typical on that side short g2 on that side but he makes up for it with that extra right there off of his main beam there just an amazing deer but yeah if you guys please would subscribe um if you like these kind of stories let me know in the comment box below i got a few other dead heads and some sheds that have never been featured on youtube there's all you know i started shed hunting way before the youtube was a thing you know it's always just kind of been a family thing we'd go out every year around easter pick up sheds D during the winter we'd go up here above the house and shed hunt that stuff right along the base of them cliffs some of the biggest sheds my mom's ever picked up as far as deer right there but now they're building all kinds of homes back there and it's all private but just an amazing buck the devil buck and uh yeah like i said subscribe guys because youtube's tattling on you only 80 percent of you guys watching this video are subscribed so if you guys please would it helps me out it keeps me motivated to keep doing the things i love and uh we'll keep pumping out these videos for you guys thanks for watching and see you next week